Well, hello there, boys and girls, and we continue the Dispay Marathon. Welcome and hello. Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another Dispay product. And yes, this has been on the pile near my feet on the floor for several weeks because I bought a whole bunch of Dispay stuff. This is going to be the clamp handle. And as you guys know, you've probably seen in all my videos that I end up having one of these and I end up using it. Well, I bought another one. Did I need it? No. Is it as good as the Senpai handle? No. But this happens to be one of my favorite handles for doing any kind of scraping and things like that. It is very comfortable. It is not a senpai handle. It's one of my favorites up until I came up with the design for the senpai handle. If you haven't seen, I, I'll try and put a card somewhere in there uh, that I am making uh, custom handles for people. I ended up getting this to show you guys uh, like what it looks like brand new out of the package. You've seen me use it in all my videos. So here we go down to the table. All right, and here is the box. And I know you guys are going to look over here. Oh my God, Dave. Yeah, I mean, some of their products I like, some of their products I don't like. Pretty much any of their products that involve metal, I, I kind of like. They seem to be well made. Any of their products that are made of plastic, mm, not so much so. So here we are with the box. And as usual, their packaging is always top notch. We've got that. We've got some writing over on this side. We've got some information on this side. And you can use this for all of your stuff, whether it be the scribers or drill bits, anything like that. You do get a little box amp display. It is magnetic, kind of opens up. And you can see, like, I literally just pulled the plastic off of this. Uh, you get a little thank you, a little card showing you uh, what you can and can't put in there and how to end up putting it. And then you get the handle itself. Urgh. And as usual, like I always say, I keep these boxes for either little knickknacks and stuff, take out that foam, or you can use them for gift boxes. They work great for that. All right, looking at the piece of paper here, it just shows you how to put things in and out. This is super simple and it should be a super short video. We hope, Dave. We hope. All right, so one thing that I didn't I didn't really end up realizing until like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and I've been using one of these, which happens to be this one that I've got stuff stuck to. Uh, I've been using this one in every video. I never really realized until the other day that the end comes off. You wanna know why the end comes off? Is just in case you end up dropping your, your drill bit or whatever through the collet and you're like, ah, I can't get it out or I use it to store some of my bits because the hole does go because the hole does go all the way through. Boop. There you go. So you can store extra bits. Uh, and that's actually been handy when I've gone on trips. I just take this with me and stick a couple bits in the handle and then one in there and you're good to go. I don't know where my original top cap is. I do really prefer this over this stupid thing that they made. So this one, I don't think, I don't know if I ever did a video. So this came in a set and it came with, I think two scriber blades and this, and I hate this handle. Like the screw on and off and then you have to keep an Allen key with you to hold it in and everything. I think that is one of the stupidest designs that anyone has ever ended up making. Stop doing things with Allen keys because we end up losing Allen keys. So this does have a collet system in there. Uh, it does only go down. You can stick other collets in here if you want to stick st smaller drill bits in. If you have like collets from a Dremel or something like that. But the collet that's in here is designed for their scriber tips. So you can put it in there. Screw it down. And there you go. And you can adjust this like this would be completely inappropriate. So you can adjust this to however suits your fancy. It does clamp down nice and tight. Haven't had any issue. Now, one thing I will say, you ha do have to watch this. Like once you find a position you want, hold it there and then tighten it down. Because otherwise when you tighten it down, it's going to spin that collet and everything and it's going to spin that tip as well. So if you find a position that is good for you, you just clamp it down, it's going to turn it and it's going to aggravate you. And I'm just trying to save you some headache. I think this was like $12 and, and for $12, I think it's worth it. Nice anod uh, anodized. I stuck a piece of Velcro on mine so that I can stick it to my workbench or wherever. You can see there's wear and tear. I have, I use this. Like I constantly have the tri scraping tool that's in here. I, I don't remember if the tri scraping tool is uh, Madworks or if it is uh, the display, but yeah. I got that. I use it on all my kits. This stays in here all the time. I had intended to get one of these for just my scriber tips, but then I decided to make the Senpai handle. Just to close out and make this short and sweet. If you're looking for a handle uh, that is very convenient for your scribers and things like that, this is going to be it. This has actually been one of my favorites out of all of them for the 
uh, for the scriber bits, the the little ones, not the not the big ones like like this, because it won't work on ones like this. For the little ones, this does fit the Madworks. It fits the uh, display tips, and there's another brand too that ends up uh, fitting. The only one that it doesn't, and you have to change down the collets on it, is for the Mister um, Mister Hobby uh, scriber or scraper bit they're panel lines but they're shaped in a hook they actually work really well other than that you just have to change down the collet on this to a smaller one which if you have a handy dandy hand drill like this you should have extra collets that come in there and you can just swap them in and out that's it or you can get them on amazon like i said you can pick this up uh, if i find a links for amazon and so forth i will put them down below but you can get this over at um, mecca warehouse galactic toys new type usa Gundam Pros, all of them end up carrying these. Like I said, I think this was like $12. For $12, you can probably pick up a couple of these. It's gonna be pretty handy. And they are heavy duty. Like I've had no issue. My thing that I really like is that the cap, though I've lost mine because I rarely ever put it on there, but the cap is magnetic and sticks right on there. No issues. It doesn't fall off or anything. If you like this video and you wanna see more like this, definitely hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as usual, senpai out. Peace.